Good morning. Just kidding. Good morning, brothers and sisters of Christ. I am back with another video. Guess what I've been trying to do? You guessed it. Sleep. I mean, when I say sleep, y'all, I've been trying to sleep. I've been getting a lot of sleep lately. I've been a little um busy. And I think moving around and it's time for me to be still. So I'm coming at you guys today with a whole nother video. So excuse the sleep in my eyes because that's just where it is. I've already enjoyed my delicious breakfast. And I'm ready to get straight to the message that I'm trying to give you guys. If this is your first time on my page, welcome. I have a couple of ground rules. But before I do anything, as I usually do, I want to pray. So Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for allowing me to have the energy to take today to give out this message to my brothers and sisters in Christ and even those who are not of Christ who just need any type of motivation or any type of word or anything to just manifest within themselves father to share the love and the gospel of you father I thank you for that father I pray that you cover and you protect them as they go throughout the day father that you allow them and you give them the uh, blessing of knowledge father as it is written in Hosea 4 6 that your people are destroyed from lack of knowledge father that I Pray that you give them the knowledge and the wisdom of you, Father, so that they'll understand what is called upon them, Father, and what they must do, Father. I pray that you give them dreams and visions of who you are, Father, and allow the beauty to edify within themselves, Father. Father, I pray that this message is protected with your blood and is, uh, is protected with your blood. And it's protected with the love that you have for your children, Father. That you cover this message, Father. You put a hedge of thorn protection around it. You bless those that bless us. You curse those who curse us, Father. And that you allow them to understand that this message from God is not something that is not going to be written. This is something that is going to be written because you declare and we decree it, Father. That your word, we stand on your word, Father. So we rebuke, denounce, counsel any covenant, effigy, or any any. Which warlock, anybody who's praying against this message in the name of Jesus, Father, and allow us to have a sevenfold restoration in whatever they're doing, Father, and that you have sent your archangels to go ahead and fight against those satanic tactics and manipulation that they might attempt to do as I am relating this message to your children for knowledge, care, and love, Father. We thank you and all that comes in agreement with this prayer, Father. We pray and we thank you. Amen. All right. So, Words of engagement for this page. This is a page of love. This is a page of knowledge. This is a page that I'm getting out, Father. Uh, getting out that my Father has placed in my heart for the morning. So those are messages that I give out. So these are all the messages I give out. This page is not a page of hate, uh, of bashing, bringing people down, telling people negativity. So I will delete you. I will block you. I will report you. And most importantly, I will pray to my, my Father... So take this, take heed. I will pray to my father and um, I will ask him to place his judgment upon the things that you say and things that you put against this message that is coming from him. So YouTube is important, but my father's very, very high up. So I will delete you for that, for that message. And I ask that my father rain his judgment upon anything that you're trying to deter people from the message and bring them close to God by distracting them, by putting things in comments Inside the comments that have nothing to do with the message. Your message is your me how you receive the message is how you receive the message. But everything else, no. If you want to send me a message personally, by all means, necessary, do it. I just caution you. <laughs> I caution you that th this is a message that I'm, I'm pouring out for, um, for his children. So let's all be courteous to one another. Let's all love one another. Let's, let's all just... Be children of Christ. And when I say his, his judgment, I'm not meaning like, oh, you're out of here. Fall out and pass out. I say my judgment is that my father teaches you um, love and peace within your heart. And, for example, if my father says, oh, she doesn't have patience. Let me teach this child patience. Or she doesn't have love. Or she's seeing fault in other people. So let me show her something. That is a judgment. And it might sound light, but tell me. I'm trying to tell y'all from judgments and lessons they teach you, you'll be in a lesson forever. you be like, oh, it's been five years. When am I ever going to be let go? So I just caution you. So if it's not positive, check your heart, check your mind, check your spirit, pray on it. Wait a couple of days and then post whatever you want to post. Okay? All right. So that's pretty much my page. So just 
just be of love and peace. This is not a negative page. All right, so everybody know how I am. Woke up like this. This is what you guys are going to get. So today's message that I just want to get out to everybody is, um, I guess it relates to what I've been saying. Don't allow others to, let me see my notes. Don't allow people to say, don't allow what people say about you manifest in your reality. That's what I have written down. So I want to give you guys a quick couple of uh, examples. I will do first uh, examples that are like in the Bible. Then I'll do something personally about myself. And then we'll sum it all up and I'll see you guys on your way. And I thank you for coming by my page. So what I mean by that is you will have people in your life who will tell you you're not smart enough. You don't have enough money to do this. And so what happens sometimes people manifest this within themselves and say, I don't have these things. I'm never going to have these things. These aren't things that I have. So, you know, why am I even trying? You're allowing it to manifest within your heart. And when you allow these things to manifest in your heart, what's happening is um, you start believing it. And then you come into covenants with it. You're agreeing with things that maybe the enemy told uh, the enemy told them to say to you. You cancel, you reject that. When people tell me things, they be like, oh, you should do this, or you're not supposed to do this. I be like, mm, I'm a child of God. I'm love, I'm beautiful. I'm, and you think you speak positivity over you because you're not who they say you are, you're who what God said that you are. So unless God himself has came to you in dreams and visions, because that's why he often speaks to his children, in dreams and visions, unless he has said that about you, I don't know who they think they are because they don't have a heaven or hell to put you in for one. Two, they're not God. He's Alpha and Omega. So don't believe anything that they have to say about you. Even when people say that you, even when you go to a job and they may say that you aren't qualified. Okay. You keep on going and do what you have to do and you pray on it. Do not allow what they say about you to manifest. Period. All right. That's first. First thing first. All right. Second... I want to tell you guys some stories. Okay, so the first story is, um, we all know Abraham, Abram and Sarai. Yes, you heard me correctly. Abram, Abraham, um, Abraham's name used to be Abram. So father, our father, Abraham, um, Abram, they changed his name to, our father changed his name to Abraham, which means father of many nations. So when people like, what's up, Abraham? He like, I'm going to be a father of many nations, and I ain't even got a child because my daughter said, Rye, who's changed to Sarah, can't have children because she old. So you have Abra Abraham, who is now father of all nations, Sarah, who's changed to Sarah, which means princess, being answered to this stuff was basically like greatness. And they like, how am I great? I don't even have these things. I'm lack thereof. But people saying those things to them every day, they're letting it manifest that I, I am going to be a father of, all, uh, of many nations. I am going to be princess because that's what Sarah means. I mean, princess. And she's like, how many princes? Princesses get used to whatever they want. I don't have whatever I want. Well, God allowed that to manifest within them. And so now Abram, who is now Abraham and the father of all nations, if you don't believe it, look in the mirror. Look look around. He's father of all, he's father of the nation. He, you know, he's father, he has many descendants. And then Sarah, look, the mother. She has more children than she even, even thought about. Like, she was thinking small because father is so complex. She's thinking small piece, God gave a big piece. So look at what he did for them. So don't allow what people, other people say about you manifesting your reality. Don't come and cover this in that. You rebuke that. The second story is of, oh, that's a good one, um, Benjamin. Um, so when Rachel had um, Benjamin, his name wasn't originally Benjamin. It was something else. And that other name was son of my sorrow. Jacob came in there, he was like, no, we're not going to put that on my son. He's not going to be son of my sorrow. He's going to be Benjamin. Benjamin came up to be great. Then you even have the story of David, which is an amazing story that his own father, when they were looking for um, a king, when they were looking for a king, whatever, they were looking for, they were looking at everyone else except for David, the shepherd boy. And they're looking all around, they're like, no, 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 no. And the father just knew one of his sons was it because they they fit the bill for what's supposed to be a king. And look at it. David was the king. And that was manifested within him. That David, you're going to be a great king. You, you're going to do this, this, this. And look, David was after God's heart. Like he he had a heart of God. Like he, he had the heart 
just searching and wanting God. So that's what David had within him. And he allowed that to manifest. And, and look how great he is. I mean, he, I mean, he's a giant, y'all. A giant. He literally cut off the head of a giant, if you want to be honest. So don't allow those things to manifest. Um, things that manifest are not of that. You're not even created of that spirit, you guys, because it's even written in the Bible that God created you. When he created you, he, he gave you one of his spirits. What negativity spirit did God like? And I'm going to give him peace, love, and negativity. <laughs> That's not of God. That's of the enemy. So don't allow that stuff to manifest within you. Lastly is my own personal story. Man, you guys, I've had so many, y'all, uh, so, so many people who have uh, attempted to put things on me or say things about me. If it, it, it could be something from your childhood, people telling you that you're not pretty or you're ugly. I, and the funny thing is, I never let that manifest. I be looking at people like, I'm like, no, that ain't me. I don't allow what people say about me to manifest. Even when people look at me and be like, well, she's not doing this, so she's supposed to be here. Okay, and I will be there when my father puts me there because I am made for greatness. And everything that I'm doing is what my father wants me to do. So I don't allow people to manifest how they feel that I should, should not look, or should and should not be within me. I am a child of God. And unless you have a heaven and hell to put me in, which last I check, you don't. What you say to me, if it's negativity, I don't receive it. I reject it. I block it. That is not of me. So I want everybody this morning to even look in the mirror and say, I am destined for greatness. I don't care what you're doing. You could be picking up trash on the ground. I don't even care if you found this somewhere and you're homeless and you're watching this. You are not what they say you are. You're what God say you are. A great song is, oh, I'm a child of God. Yes, I am who I am. You believe in what God said you are. And if you don't know who God said you are, my brother and my sister, you read the Bible and God's going to tell you that you are great. He made you, he gave you authority as it is written in Genesis 1. He gave you reign over the whole entire earth. That's why you're able to cast things out. You uh, claim authority over stuff because you ain't got no reign over here, partner, that you are God's region on earth he has made you in his image and if he made you out of his image why would you even allow anybody on this earth to tell you that you are anything but what he has created you to be they ain't got a heaven or hell to put you in they don't have no power or anything don't allow them people to come to you speaking on negativity over you telling you what you should and should not be doing what you should and should not look like what how you should and should not be walk unless you're walking and you're not walking and what god wants you to walk you in what what he has said in the bible other than that they can't tell you nothing that you're destined for greatness so you even put that and you pour that into you allow that per, uh, a parched feel in your mind to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You even speak that into your children. You pray for your children. You tell your, your child, you are smart. You are beautiful. You are kind. You're going to be whatever they want to be. They want to be presidents, astronauts. You pour that into your child because they are who God said they are, not who anybody else is seeing. If you are living in a project, a hood, or somewhere else, and you feel like that's not what you are, you speak positivity in you. And when they tell you what you are, you don't answer to what they what they are. When when I was growing up and people would say something to me, uh, look at the girl, she uh, she's not pretty, or you know things like that. Man, ask them folks what I used to say to them. I used to be like, I don't know who they talk to. Ask them. I don't know who you talking to because you're not talking to me. I used to I would ignore them because they're not talking to me. So you you don't answer to none of that stuff they're saying. Then you go home, you say, oh, God, forgive them because they don't know who I am because I'm your daughter. I'm your child. You let them know. When they say, oh, you always going to be on this or you ain't going to never aspire to this. This is how you're going to always be. You just, I, I can look around like, they often talk to themselves. They don't talk to their whole spirit like that. That's blasphemy. Mm. Oh, you're talking to me. You mean beautiful child of God. That's what you meant. Okay. So, yes, my name is beautiful child of God. You, you tell them who you are. Don't let them tell you who you are. Don't allow what they want to manifest uh, go into your reality. Don't you, don't you even do agreements with a covenant because you're giving the enemy authorization to tell you these negative things about you. And next thing you know, you're on a down spiral or depression because of lies that they have told you. Don't believe them lies. So that is my motivational Monday for today. I'm trying to see what else I have for you. Yeah, 
That is what I have for you. Don't, don't allow that to manifest in your life. People, go out. Read the Bible. You have not because you, you ask not. And I also want to say that you haven't researched. Because once you research and you actually read the Bible for what it is and what the Bible says you are, there is nothing that no one can tell you. Not no negative, not no lie. And don't believe them lies they be trying. God told me. God told you to give me some negativity. God told you to give me something negative. Uh, no, that was the enemy. You need to check your sources again, like I tell everybody, because I'm gonna come with the, I'm gonna come with biblical receipts, baby. All the time, I'm gonna come with biblical receipts. So you tell them people when they say God told me, don't you even agree with what they telling you that God said? You go back and then you be like, let me read the Bible and see what the Bible says. Because if God told them, why would God not tell you? Think about it. What made them so special? If we are all created equal and God loves us all. And people are saying things such as, you know, you never going to go nowhere else. That's what God told me. Oh, so God told you, but he decided not to tell me. He's going to give it to you as well. And if you, and, and you want to know and believe it, you pray on it. You say, Heavenly Father, I pray that you, like you said, it don't say a 4, 6, that we, we, we are destroyed and perish because of lack of knowledge. Father, give me the knowledge to know the things that you're telling me. Father, guide my path. Make make my make my path clear as it is written in scriptures and song. You ask God to guide you and tell you what you are, not what these people say you are. Don't be believing these people. There's entities that you can't even see that's listening to them. Like, tell her she ain't going nowhere. Tell her she always gonna be there. Are you ready to rebuke that? Don't you ever receive no negativity or anything that anybody tells you that's negative that hurts you for, because that did not come from your father. That came from the negativity that's whispered in their ears. And then you pray for those people like, oh, father, you know, today sister, 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 sister said this to me. I pray that, you know, that we, you better bind them spirits that's around her and then you keep on going because you know who you are. So, so that is my motivational Monday for you. Today, you guys, just be kind to one another. And if people are not kind to you, you, you pray for them. You pray for your brothers and sisters. You continue on throughout the day. You read the Bible. You learn who you are, not who they say you are. You're a child of God. All right? Don't give them authorization in your life. Don't give them the access code, the bank pin number. Don't give them nothing. The social security. Don't give them the keys to your mind to manifest something in your heart that God did not put there. Okay? All right. So, goodbye, brothers and sisters of Christ, even people who are not of Christ. Um, if you do not know the Lord and you want to know the Lord, you don't have to go wait for some um, sanctified moment in the church where you just, oh, I'm about to go down. This is my moment. You believe him in your heart and you confess it at your house where you are. Guess what? He taking you. You don't need no special moment. You, you allow God to do that for you and then you are moved and you're able to go and be what God wants you to be. I thank you guys so much for listening to me. Subscribe to my channel. On my channel, we will talk about not only God, workouts. I know y'all like, where's my workout? I am vegan. I'm going to tell you guys some recipes. I will be baking a cake, and I will record it for you guys to see. So it is coming soon. Thank you, guys. I love you guys. Remember, God loves you. Read your Bible daily to feed your spirit, man, which is your Holy Spirit. I love you guys. Have a great day.